Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the structure elements of a building. Structure elements are those components are part of a building which take the load and transfer to the load safely to the another member without any failure or without any crack damage. So in a building there are different structure elements which which has their own purpose. For example, beam is designed for bending, column is designed for compression and so on. So in this lecture we are mainly focused on the structure elements of a building. So starting from the top of the building, this is the general uh, elevation view of the building. So to discuss the different elements or components of a building, which are called as the structure element of a building. So this one, which is in the top of the building, which covers the building from the from the rain, from the snow, or from any other purpose, we call this type of the building, this type of the uh, structure which uh, supports the building from the rain or from the water is called as the roof of the building. So this is called as the roof, roof deck. They are mostly used uh, to support the building from falling of the rain water or from the snow or from the uh, air, from the wind load or this type of loading is generally taken by the roof deck. So the first part or the first structure element of the building of this building is the roof deck. The second member, uh, the structure element of this building is the slate. This is the slate. It is placed on the top of the beam. You can see here this horizontal member. It shows both the slate and beam connection. If I draw the cross section, so the slate will be here, and similarly on the below the slate there will be beam. So they are monolithically joined together. They are monolithically joined together. So there is a beam slave connection together. So the second here, if I call the name, so this will be the second part, or the second structure element of a building, and it will be called as the slave. The slave is mostly designed for bending. Bending stresses are bending forces. While the third can I call as the beam, which is below the slave. So slave take the load and transfer to the beam. So the third part of the structure elements are the, the third structure elements of a building will be the beam, which is also designed for the bending. Mostly they are designed for bending. The fourth part of a building I can call is the load bearing wall. There are two types of the wall. One is the load bearing wall and one is the non load bearing wall. So I can call it the load bearing wall the fourth component, which is this case, is the fourth component. Load bearing wall, or uh, it called as the non-load bearing wall, if they are not placed with the reinforcement, non-load bearing wall. They are just used for cover, just for, if they are used for just to uh, provide the protection from the one room to another room, so we call it the non-load bearing wall. If they are used to taking the load, of the lateral load of the seismic or the earthquake load, so we call it the load bearing wall. And these on the uh, and these are provided on the uh, two opposite sides of the building, or uh, even inside the building, we provide the wall. So either it may be load bearing wall or it may be non load bearing wall, depending on the condition. If you design with the reinforcement and consider the earthquake load or the lateral load for the wall, so we call it the load bearing wall because it will take the load from the earthquake or the little load from the wind load. So the fourth is the load bearing wall, the wall, the fifth one. The fifth one, structure elements for building is the column. Column is, is a compression member. You can see here, this is the column. Part is where, here is where. So vertical members provided on the building side or on the middle of the building, we call it the column. These are the vertical members, so these also called as the columns. Columns are always designed for compression and they take the load in compression always. So columns are designed for compression. Sometimes they are designed for bending as well, but mostly column is a compression member. They, took, they take load in a vertical way. So they, these all are columns, which are vertical members. These all are columns taking the load from the above floors. And the at the bottom of the flow at the bottom of the structure the column should have more width or more size because all the loads are coming on this column 
so the more load will come on this column as compared to this column because there is little structure above on this column while here in these columns they have more structure so all the load this column should be designed for more load as compared to the above columns the sixth part of the sixth structure elements of a building we call is the connections and these connections are mostly in the steel buildings i can write it here they are mostly used in the steel buildings for example these connections of a building similarly this connection this connection these all are connections and these connections are mostly used in the steel building or the steel structure and these connections may be we call it the bolted joint bolted joint or we call it the weld joint or maybe sometime we provide the implant joint so it depends on the steel building if you steel building then we provide the either bolt joint or the weld joint according to the design criteria so connection are also important and connection usually take the load from one member transfer to the other member this connection is used to take the load from the beam and transfer it to the column this connection is used to take the load from this roof deck and transfer it into the column similarly this connection is used to take the load from this beam from this beam and this column and transfer it to the below column to this column so the connection play an important role in this steel structure the seventh part of the building is structure elements of the building are called as girders the girders the girders are those part of the building which are provided uh, beneath the beam and they are high and they are more in thickness than the beam and they are called also is called as this primary beam because they take the load from the beams from the um, uh, less thickness of the beam and transfer to the high thickness of the beam and this high thickness of the beam are called as the girders the eighth component of the structure elements of a building is called as the footing footing girder is also uh, also designed for the bending they behave as the beam but they are in more in thickness than the beam the last part is called footing and footing is designed for the compression and as well as bending compression and bending and footing is the second last part of the building you can see here all the load of the building is coming on the footing so footing should be well designed and there are different types of the footing depend on the building isolated footing combined footing straight footing and so on the ninth and the last part of the the structure element of a building it cannot be called as a structure element but sometimes it taken as a structure element is this soil which is beneath the footing and this soil has bearing this soil should have must have the bearing capacity more than the load coming on it so a high high bearing capacity will easily take the load without any settlement of the building if this soil has less bearing capacity than the applied load then it may happen that this soil can fail in like in this way can make crack and the whole building can settle that's why soil should must have high bearing capacity than the applied load these are the different structure elements and these all structure elements working together to make a structure so these are called as the structure element or the structure components or the structure part of a building hope you guys understand subscribe my way subscribe my channel for daily engineering videos thank you for watching my video